Excellence in scholarship is not divorced from excellence in equal opportunity. A pilot Robotics 101 course at the University of Michigan is flipping the script on engineering education in an effort to make it more equitable. The course exposes students right away to advanced robotics concepts through the theory and computational applications of linear algebra without requiring four rigorous semesters of calculus as a prerequisite. The way that engineering education is structured is very much geared towards, you know, the students who have the most resources because, you know, the deeper they can go into various things, like if they can get calculus in high school, they have the advantage because of the way that we set it up. What this program is doing is really turning that on its head and it's changing its assumptions. Robotics 101 is great because we don't expect anything of the students coming into the course because we want to make it accessible to, to students at every, at every level. And now all of a sudden it doesn't matter where the student comes from. They could come from any high school in the country and they can dive into the robotics curriculum and start doing some really cool things from day one. In the course, students use the Julia programming language to apply linear algebraic concepts to large relevant problems and data sets. Their projects include building maps with LIDAR, using linear regression algorithms to chart regional precipitation, and balancing a segue. It's definitely been interesting and super cool because generally like math and application are separate from each other. But then you go into the project and you think, okay, how do I translate my understanding of math into code that the computer understands. You take this real data set, which is, which is very complicated, there's a lot of data points, and you see that using linear algebra, you can generalize it to actually some really complicated things, and you can model real-world phenomena, and that's, that's pretty cool. Another way the robotics program is seeking to expand equity is by partnering with minority-serving institutions. Students from Morehouse College and Spelman College in Atlanta, Georgia, enrolled remotely alongside University of Michigan students in the pilot semester of Robotics 101. A lot of students come to college not just for the academic experience, but also for the, the culture on campus. You know, they want the experience of going to, uh, to one of those, you know, those famed institutions. But we also want to see them, uh, see them get access to leading researchers. Within my math degree, I was getting a lot of theory, a lot of proofs. Taking this course definitely exposed me to see how like I can actually apply this. To For me, I like the 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 fact that there were student systems. It actually made it so much easier to get help. At our schools, we don't have that. We only have the professors, so. That was something that was so helpful. What we produce as faculty, as a university, we produce ideas and we produce people that are capable of understanding those ideas and carrying them forward. If we don't have diversity amongst the, the people that we are producing, it will affect the ideas that we produce and it will limit what we're, what we're capable of doing as a society.